Hey friends, I am camping this weekend at Mustang Park at Lake Benbrook, which is uh, just south of Fort Worth, or yeah, I think I'm south of Fort Worth. Anyway, I've just been not putting out many videos lately and not doing much camping because it's just been horrible weather. It's been raining all the time, and it's supposed to rain again this weekend. I was just looking on the radar. Looks like a scattered shower is going to come through here in a minute, and then it should be clear for a few hours, so... I just wanted to get out. I needed to get out and uh, get some fresh air and see some nature. Now, um, Mustang Park is a pretty nice little park. It's kind of different. They don't have designated campsites. Like, you can basically just camp anywhere you want. So, that's kind of an odd thing. But uh, it is $14 a night. They do have restrooms and some covered picnic tables. And that's pretty much it for amenities. They do have some fire rings and things here. So, that's kind of cool. You can camp right on the lake or you can camp here by the river. I usually camp here by the river because it's usually quieter over here. But a lot of times people will come and just park like right there and throw a fishing pole in, which is fine too. But, yep, just wanted a little taste of nature here in the middle of the city. <laughs> so, a real quick update on the van. Um, people have been asking me if I got it fixed. Not exactly. So I took it to Vandergriff Chevrolet and they ran the diagnostics and came back with the same thing everybody always says, that it's that pass code reader or pass lock, whatever they call it. Well, I've already had that replaced, so I don't feel like just replacing that over and over is really the answer. So then I was online um, just a couple of days after that and RV Prepper Wayne was on and I was telling him about my problem. He went and watched my video. He told me that he could tell me how to um, bypass the whole security system on the van and that he's pretty sure that I would never have that problem again if we did that. He said he was going to give me a call and walk me through it and then Hurricane Michael happened and poor Wayne, he has pine trees all over his house, all over his RV. He is not having a good week, guys. I, I feel so bad for him. So I know he doesn't have time to call me and mess with that. So. I will be patient and hopefully he will be able to get back to me, you know, whenever he gets things in order at his homestead. Man, like I said, my heart really goes out to him. If you don't know who RV Prepper Wayne is, I will put a link to the a video of his below. You can go check him out. Real knowledgeable guy. He knows everything about RVs, so that's kind of, he's my go-to guy for the for the big deals like this, so I really appreciate him. I said, I just hope he's okay. So meanwhile, yeah, the van starts. I mean, it starts whenever, every now and then. And it'll probably run for another five months before it leaves me stranded again. So that's why it's just so frustrating and so hard to, hard for a mechanic to fix. And I guess a dealership isn't going to bypass the security for you. I bet that's a big no-no for them. So get that too. So yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Thought briefly about selling day and starting over and getting something else. I just don't want to do that. I, you know, repairing a vehicle is always cheaper than purchasing a new one. My good friend John told me that, and he's right. I know he's right, so I'm going to keep plugging along. There's got to be an answer. It'll happen, and all will be well <laughs> until the next thing breaks. <laughs> but that's a, that's a way of life, I guess. I mean, it, it's a van. It's going to break down. It's all right. It's okay, Day. I forgive you, but stop it already, would ya? I always see wild turkeys when I'm at this campsite, and I just love it. I think it's so cool. It's raining. I gathered a little bit of firewood and uh, got it ready to 
start a fire and it started sprinkling and then I looked on the radar and here we go. Darn it. But at least I've got this nice cover. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my book and cook something for dinner. Kind of lovely out here, really. So I kind of got rained out when I woke up this morning. It was nice. It was just barely sprinkling, so I sat under the covered picnic table and read for a little while. Then the wind picked up, and I thought, well, I might as well come on home and be a little bit productive today. So my best friend from Minnesota is moving to Texas, so she's going to stay here with me. So I am going to turn the kiss room into her room, so this will be a challenge, but um, yep. 40 years worth of KISS stuff is going in these bins. <laughs> Should be a fun day. So yeah, it's not as fun as camping, but it's got to be done. So anyway, hope whatever you're doing today, you are having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all stay lost, my friends. That's a little fake blood that goes with this fountain. <laughs> oh, so much stuff.